I present you with the Taj Mahal for my love. So here we are uh, around 4.30 uh, in the evening coming to see how the Taj looks uh, before sunset because when the sun's in a different position the stone is not as white as it is in the morning and the morning was very white and here you can see it's a pinkish color it actually looked more pink from a distance as you get closer especially the dome at the top it looks uh, not white but certainly an off-white and it's, it's fascinating the way the sun has the effect on the marble and the way it reflects off of it but it's a beautiful uh, lightish pink at this point and just going around that's the guest house there is a similar house on the other side which is the mosque and you can see people, lots of people still here. And I came by myself. Hannah stayed in the room. Because she had seen it in the morning and was wanted to rest. So I'm here with our guide Raju. And where is Raju? Raju is right there. Say hello to Raju. <laughs> he's actually a lawyer, but he's doing tourist uh, guiding now. And he enjoys that yeah, a lot. There's not, there's not a big difference. Perfect English. A liar and a liar. <laughs> <laughs> He's not. Mosque on the other side. The previous video showed you the corresponding equivalent building, which is the guest house on, on the right side. This is on the left side, is the mosque. And behind is the river. The Yamana River, is it? Yamana. Yamana River. And there is the temple, or the Taj Mahal. And you can see the the sides are exactly the same as the front, and all four sides are identical. It sits on an octagonal plate, and uh, there's four sides plus four corners. And see up close, it looks, now it's starting to look a little yellowish, if anything. <laughs> Many colors are at the back of the end of the Taj Mahal. This is the river uh, runs through the back, or back side. And uh, when there was a full moon, the Shah used to come here and go to the other side and look at the reflection of the Taj Mahal in the still water, and it sure must have been beautiful. And you can, you can see, well, you can see the reflection of that dome in the water, but you have to be on the other side, I would think, to see the reflection of the Taj Mahal. It's a little hazy, well, quite hazy, actually, tonight, so you can't see any blue sky. In the summertime, apparently, the sky is clear, and you, you get to see, um, you have much more light, probably different colors on the Taj Mahal. So here's the back side. See the minaret, and we're right in front of one of them. Whoa, it's big. And how tall, Raju, did you say the... Uh, 273 feet, 90 meters. 90 meters, and it's equivalent to about, uh, how many floors, you say? 50 floors? 50 floors. It's a big structure. 22 years to build. 20,000 people. 20, people every day. He had a big payroll. No forced labor. Everything was being well paid. Yes. And everyone worked with firm determination, enthusiasm, and zeal, and the best came out. Right. Well, that's what they call government employment, you know. <laughs> This is very interesting. This is a model of the pinnacle on the dome of the Taj Mahal, which I'll show you in a second. 30 feet, 9 meters. It's 30 feet, 9 meters, Raju says. And onyx, black onyx, made from black onyx. And then, so they made it down here? Yeah. And then got it up to the top, right at the top there. There it is. You can see that it matches, of course, the model here where they filled it in probably. Wow, that's cool. And this is the guest house, which is, I'm too, too much in front of it right now. Um, you can see it's identical to the one I took on the other side. Same architecture, color, everything. It's symmetrical. People walking about in the square. And I think that'll be enough for now, but you never really can get enough of the beautiful Taj Mahal. Tall, tall minarets. Okay, there we go. <laughs>